Hi, my name is Marty Mayer. I'm a simulation specialist here at Wiser. Uh, I'd like to talk to you today about our mobile head wall that uh, myself and some of the other simulation specialists uh, constructed here at Wiser. We're in uh, met room number 10 here at Wiser, which is one of the busiest rooms here in our center. Uh, we had a problem that I'm sure is common to a lot of you folks. We have a, a wall that's movable, so it lends itself uh, not to be able to put any kind of outlets for oxygen, air system, suction, so on and so forth. So what we thought is that we'd get together and we'd build a mobile head wall that we could use in this room for uh, many of the courses that go on here. And also we can move it to any other parts of the center that are necessary for a head wall that we also don't have any outlets. Uh, we also uh, thought that possibly this could be taken to off sites and utilized in the same manner. Uh, we started building this approximately six months ago. It took us about three months to build on and off here at uh, Wiser during off times and during uh, off peak times here uh, when classes were slow. Basically all that it is is a, a wall facade um, made of wood. We were lucky enough to be able to uh, procure a steel frame with wheels to build the, the facade. Um, and most all the supplies that you see here are oxygen supplies and air supplies that we uh, contracted through our vendor to give us that are the exact replicas of the in-hospital models. So everything you see here is what is used at all the hospitals that utilize our center for training. Uh, it has power supplied to it so we can run any type of machinery, we can run vents, we can run ultrasound machines, uh, whatever is necessary for the course that's being uh, done here in this room. We can uh, turn it around and I can show you the, the back end of the, of the mobile head wall where all of the uh, supplies are kept, uh, the uh, other uh, compressors that uh, run SimMan. Okay, as you can see, the back of the head wall is basically a, an open area. We have two shelves that we utilize here. Bottom, we can keep the compressor uh, to run uh, our simulator. We actually have a portable suction unit that we can run the vacuum system if we take it off, off site. The link box and the regulator for the simulator are also kept on, uh, on this shelf. Here is a pretty open area. We keep our speakers for sound. We can also utilize this area for a laptop or any other uh, electronic equipment that we need to run uh, during a simulation. As you can see right now, the air system is all powered from our our compressor here at our center. It all comes down into a, a regulator which regulates all of the gases and uh, suction area and backing areas to this area here. We also have the power which is is wired into a, a uh, power strip and plugged into the wall. So we, all, we have three different outlets on the wall that can be utilized. Um, when we go off site we have all of our portable hoses. The uh, vacuum can be plugged in and we utilize the portable uh, vacuum pump. Our air system can be plugged into a portable system. We can run this system off of a, another compressor, compressor that will uh, power all of the outlets here for gases and uh, the O2. Uh, we also uh, can take the sound and take it into a laptop and use it off site as well. Our portable head walls allowed us to be a lot more versatile. Uh, although it's mainly used here in our main simulation room most of the time, it has allowed us to move in other areas of the center, including our large classroom, which allows us to have uh, larger classes and more participants. Uh, it also enables us to use it on offsite uh, to uh, have offsite courses, enabling uh, a better, re more realistic experience for our participants at the offsites as well. Thank you for uh, taking a few minutes uh, to enjoy our tech tips, and we'll see you again.